Hello lovely people. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. Okay, uh, thanks for joining me here again today. Uh, today I'm going to uh, finish off this uh, page, the same page as we, I, we did uh, two days ago, yesterday, two, day, two days ago. So I have actually, okay, I, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. Okay. So what I did was I uh, pre-colored the background with uh, this, um, this, I'll show you a longer one, uh, this color Pale Sage PC1089. So this is the this is the background I was using, you know, my short one, which is like, I've got only a little bit left of it, just finish it off. Okay, so I shall uh, uh, leave this. Okay, I just go, how I do this uh, um, background is, I just go in, um, okay, circular motion, okay, just circular motion lightly, okay, the whole area. And then this uh, background here, the sides here, I use uh, this color, PC120, okay, sub green light. And just, you know, just to give it a bit of a uh, shadowish, you know, different, a little bit, the shadow behind all these things here. Okay, so this is a uh, sub green light. And blend it in again with this uh, pill sage. Yeah, so I use two colors, uh, and in between, maybe this part here, okay, you know, to show that it's like there's two branches. Blend it in. Okay. That just go in circular motion and I like to rotate my pencil and I think I might just you know use some accents like um, silver dots later or some glaze pen depends Uh, oh, just a little bit more, might as well finish this. It was going out of a cam of shot. Got to keep checking. This is one of the colors that I uh, absolutely like in uh, this uh, Prisma color. That's why you see it's <laughs> short. And that is my another, this one is my uh, replacement pencil. 
that's the third one I think this is the second pencil this uh, green has a little bit of a uh, yellow to it you know it has got this yellowish tinge to it and so use this set um set green light again okay yeah okay so now uh i am going to do this flower okay i'll zoom you in more I'm going to use a dark red to give it a little bit more contrast like um let me see shall I use pomegranate okay I'm going to use pomegranate and crimson red pc924 and pc195 okay so this one a pomegranate first oh before that that is my chartreuse. Okay, let's go in with this. Uh, I need to sharpen. Okay, so shall go in with a pomegranate first okay just got to be a bit careful here Yeah, so this part here, <coughs> excuse me, darken it and uh, Flick it out. Okay, flick it out. Flicking motion again. <clears throat>
here and then uh, use this <coughs> so crimson red okay it's this part here later we'll blend it in again this is this, this crimson red that's this part the flap and blend it in with uh, this um, pomegranate So it's darker inside here. You can actually use a blue, okay, to darken inside. Uh, I think I will use a peacock and see. Just a little bit, you know. Just, just to give it like a, a tinge of a, a more depth. Yeah, then it will look like um, there's some depth in the center of the flower I shall use a little bit of uh, this raspberry, okay? Raspberry is good to give it a bit more the depth. And to bring it all out. Uh, you know, give it a bit of some light. Uh, this PC two nine two six. Yeah, because it's a bit uh, lighter. Just a little bit. I could also use an orange if you want. Okay, so this is a dark flower. Got some red flower here. I shall touch up a bit later this. Uh, where's the pomegranate? No, this is not this. Uh, where's my pomegranate? Hey. Oops. Um, I just had my pomegranate out here. This is raspberry. Mm. Crimson red. Pomegranate. Okay, crimson uh, raspberry.
Hmm. Right. Um, so now this one here, uh, this flower here. Uh, yesterday we used, uh, I think it was uh, common red. No, poppy red. Poppy red was in it. Yeah, it was poppy red. Okay. Okay, and then uh, I will use this uh, raspberry at the bottom. Okay, and uh, this orange. Okay, orange, orange, PC918. Bring it all in. Poppy red again. Okay, and uh, put in with a uh, now it's my yellow. Um, canary yellow, 916. Okay. And this red here, we shall go in with uh, crimson red first. seal I might go over this uh, with glaze or something to give it like you know the 3d sort of uh, effect later the glaze pen uh, pen uh, jelly roll we shall see Okay, so this is a uh, raspberry. Mm. Okay, we shall have the raspberry. Yeah, raspberry. Just uh, below this seal here. Poppy red just to bring it in, give it a bit of a lighter shade in the middle. So now we, what uh, what is left is the um, butterfly. Yeah. Okay. So butterfly. Uh, I always like to use uh, 
red and orange and you know those type of colors for butterfly but you can use any color but i'm gonna use uh, go with the yellow PC one one eight. Okay, and then um, it's a uh, poppy red. Okay, so <clears throat> the side here, I'm going to use uh, raspberry. Below this bottom wing. Okay, I think we shall stop here. Um, there's some promotion going outside. <laughs> right, um, terracotta for the body. Okay. So, I think, zoom you out, yeah, so this is it, probably I have to go do some touch up here and there, but overall I think it's, uh, I'll consider it done. So, thank you for joining me again, uh, and if you've come to the end of this, I mean, reached to the end of this uh, video, uh, and if you have not subscribed, uh, please do subscribe. And give me a cheeky thumbs up <laughs> um, if you like this video. Alright, uh, till then, take care and happy colouring. Bye-bye.